Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, with the last few days of the year, I figured I'd do a recap of some of the awesome things that happened and also kind of plan what's going to happen in 2023 and beyond. Uh, now, I know right now the channel hasn't seen much growth um, actually for maybe about a month. Um, and the videos that I have been putting out, nobody's really watched too much of it. Um, usually getting close to 100 views compared to, you know, a few thousand, depending on what I made. Now, I know this is due to the fact that, you know, I was covering Chile, that train wreck, and a lot of people got invested in that, and I just had to walk away from it because, you know, I wasn't happy covering it, and, uh, you know, I didn't want the ch success of this channel be dependent on Chile. I don't think Chile should be able to control my channel or anybody else's channel for views. Um, but like I said, a lot of people like watching train wrecks and I had fun along the way. Uh, does that mean that I'm going to stop covering Chile for good? I might cover him every once in a while. Um, but there's bigger things I would rather cover uh, that suit me. And hopefully maybe you guys can learn a few things along the way. Now, uh, a lot of big things happened in 2022. You know, I went from a channel barely getting single-digit views, stuck around 400-some followers, to close to 2,600 followers now. And some videos are getting, you know, a couple thousand views, which is awesome. I actually became a YouTube partner. I actually had a community page, which I use all the time. Um, you know, I tried to stream. I don't. I haven't streamed that much. Uh, this year, but some of the streams we've had, I've had a lot of fun, um, and we got to hang out with a bunch of new people that I never thought I would be uh, hanging out with, and I know that sounds bad, it sounds awful, but it's been awesome, it's been really awesome, I've made a lot of cool friends, and just stepping out of my comfort zone, now, I'm a, used to be one of those guys that would just not say things, and just walk away and uh but i've seen myself change a little bit i've become more confident in the way i approach things uh i enjoy talking about mental health stuff i enjoy you know bashing bullies uh even though in the long run it makes me look like a bully myself but whenever i am bullying the bully right i guess i don't know but it's been fun it's been a fun year been a really fun year i got married which is awesome got a new place which is awesome i i got my bits and pieces workshop started which you i'll share that to you guys later on um i think i posted on a community page what we've done you know we have the cricket cutter and we have the 3d printer so i'm going to try to start making things with that um you know it's been really crazy i got the best job of my life uh, this job is going to be the job I want to stay, hopefully, for the rest of my life in. Um, you know, I had a great Christmas. I had a great birthday. Um, I had a great wedding. Uh, I'm married to my best friend, which is awesome. We both share a really awesome place together. Uh, I'm Like I said, I met a lot of people. Uh, we got to hang out with Irish Demon, Sovereign Soul, Legicator, Blue Bear, Ironton Auditor, uh, Tina Slay, and a few others, uh, they actually came to town, Bridge the Divide, they actually came to town to hang out with us. Uh, we, we hung out at in Ashland, watched uh, what was supposed to be a charity fight between Legicator and the Leprechaun, Chili. And it didn't happen, he just ran away. It's been fun to watch this guy just stumble and fall on everything he's trying to do with his ponzi schemes uh his scams with trying to take advantage of people by trying to be this law scholar which we all know what that is i'm not going to go into that tangent but it's my opinion by the way i can't prove that but yeah it's been really fun it's been really fun uh becoming a youtube partner has been something i wanted to do for a very long time um, I never thought I would be able to do that, but here I am. Um, and all the other stuff, like the marriage and all that, it's just, it's been nuts, been nuts. It's been a wonderful year. So what's that mean for the future? What's that mean for 2023 and beyond? 
well, as you guys know, I struggle with my health, the weights and all that stuff, especially mental health. And, you know, I stumbled and fell, fall uh, a few times this year uh, when I would try doing a diet and it just didn't work out. Didn't work out at all. So now here I am now trying to maintain my weight and hopefully next year, um, hopefully, you know, beginning of the year, we can get back to the gym. Um, you know, I've been doing a keto thing, uh, with the holidays, it's been kind of hard to stick with that, but we're ha going heavy back into it. Hopefully I don't fail. Um, you know, as most people do, uh, we fail. And I told you guys at the beginning that I was going to fail at the diet. My goal right now is to get rid of neuropathy, um, get rid of, you know, an extra hundred pounds, get rid of that. Like I would like to get down to at least 230. I don't know if that's possible, but we're going to try it. I'm going to be learning how to play the guitar again. Uh, I, you know, I, I used to dabble in it. Uh, I'm a bass player more so than a guitar player. Uh, I plan on learning Japanese. Uh, I started, uh, my Duolingo app uh, started doing my exercises. You do about five, ten minutes a day, and it tracks you. Um, you know, I'm going to be saving some money as well as planning on going to Japan either 2024 or 2025. Uh, that's on my bucket list. I've always wanted to go to Japan, and that's something I would love to do. And I'd love to document that. So as the channel grows, I would like to do more streaming. Now, here in a few days. You want to see something behind me that's really cool. It's really cool. I did make some upgrades to my logo. Some people liked it. Some people didn't. It's basically the same logo with the Mr. Evil aspect. We decided, like, that was the thing. That was the thing. So you'll be calling me Mr. Evil Ass. Still bits and pieces channel. But as far as my gaming stuff, it's Mr. Evil Ass. And you guys can call me at all you want. You can say, hey, there's Mr. Evil ass of bits and pieces. Um, you know, like I said, we're going to be making all kinds of cool stuff. I'm going to dive back into gaming, um, dive back into talking about mental health, uh, hopefully streaming more, uh, streaming with more people, doing collaborations. Uh, I would love for the channel to hit 5,000 followers, 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's possible. It's, I mean, it's not impossible. Uh, I originally, I was like, maybe we could do 10,000. 5,000 is more reachable. Uh, my wife said, hey, let's do 5,000. Um, so if you guys haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Let's hit 5,000 by the end of the year. Or, and if we do that, we hit 5,000 in April or something like that, let's hit 10,000 by the end of the year. Um, you know, the way the channel is growing now, uh, it's very unlikely because I don't think we've really gained any subscribers the whole month. Um, and like I said, we haven't really had much traffic on the channel, um, which is mostly my fault, just due to the fact that I'm not covering what I was covering. And, you know, like I said, hopefully maybe maybe in the future we can um, continue growing and hanging out. Now, I did make some videos this week. Uh, did the one about the chil the children thing that I did, which, you know, some people liked, some people didn't like. Um, I, I, I hope you guys like my humor from time to time. Uh, maybe I should relax on the dark humor. Uh, but I, that's always been me. I've always had a dark sense of humor, which eh, it is what it is. So the big goals, weight loss, uh, do better at my job. Um, do better with the print shop thing that I'm doing, uh, you know, building a better relationship with my wife and my family, uh, re reunite with friends, uh, lose weight and gain some muscle, continue, get back to the punching of bags and stuff. Yeah. I want to get back to, uh, doing the boxing thing. I, I actually like it. It's fun. Uh, even if we're not fighting, it at least be something I can learn to stay healthy as well as, you know, learn how to protect myself or my family. Um, so hopefully, hopefully well, this will be uh, achievable. So if not, then, you know, there's always the year after. Um, 
we all like we we hear people say what's your mission my mission today starting into 2023 is to do better all around uh especially in the mental health arena uh i know there's a lot of people that message me uh via email and i try my best to get back with you i love your stories i love what you're telling me um it, it does make me realize that hey i'm not the only person on a planet that deals with these things. So we're going to fix that. We're going to try to get our mental health stuff back in shape. Will you see me fail? Yes, you will see me fail a lot. Uh, I'm only human and I'm going to make mistakes. But until you, uh, until next year, I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. Uh, and hopefully if you want to, let me know what your plans are for 2023. Again, I love you guys very much. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. We'll hit the 5K. That'd be amazing. I'll see you soon.